Good morning from the NASCAR world. This is the NASCAR 48 here, and we got some breaking news alongside three-time NASCAR Spring Cup Series champion Tony Stewart. Um, will not be racing today. Regan Smith will be taking over today's race in the 14 car. Uh, today at Watkins Glen, and I have Nicholas Michelini alongside. Say hello. Yeah, subscribe to him on uh, Nicholas Michelini. Um, and follow me on Twitter at Nicholas Michel Michel whatever. Michelini. Yeah. And why is Tony Stewart not racing? You may ask. Well, because I'll, of. I'll tell you guys. Last night, I'm not sure. I can't say the name of the track because I don't even know how to say it. But it was upstate New York. Tony Stewart was involved in a sprint car race, like he always is. Um, there was a driver named Kevin Ward Jr. Yes. Well, Kevin walked around his car, was pointing at Tony's car, trying to show his displeasure, and then all of a sudden Tony's right front, his front, I believe his right rear tire, um, hit Kevin, launching Kevin at least 25. I heard, I heard that he got launched 25 to 50 feet in the air. It was 50 feet. In, uh, it wasn't really 50 feet in the air. I thought it was 50 feet being dragged, but this sure is has been uh, the headlines ever since this took place last night yeah um and then sadly kevin ward jr passed away at 11 15 last night my friend told me that um he died on arrival at the hospital we don't know what he died from we don't know if it's like from a skull fracture or blunt or blunt force trauma whatever like the alert heart had Well, we we all know he died from a uh, substance in injury, but we don't know the cause of the death. But that's, that's what I meant. yeah, we all know that the police has been investigating about the incident. People have to leave the track because immediately. Uh, yeah, immediately because it was kind of horrifying. Let's just say, bleh, let's just say that. Same here. Never, never heard about it or seen the video all my life. Never. If you guys, if you guys haven't seen the video, I'll show you the video and. Like, like I've heard of, um, I've heard of people getting hit by cars on like turnpikes and stuff, but not on a racetrack. Come on, yeah. And yes, as as Tony Stewart and Kevin Hart, in case if you haven't heard, um, we will show you the video. But if you guys do not want to see it, please, um. Uh, uh, click off if you guys don't want to see it. If you do, it's pretty graphic. Yeah, pretty but graphic. When, but when Kevin gets hit, it's like has a bad camera angle, so you really can't see it. It was it was from the grandstand, and hopefully yeah, it was from the grandstand, and then like you can't really see Kevin get hit because there's another car in front of Tony as the as he got hit. And here's the video. Uh, hold on. I don't think I don't think there'll be any sounds because uh, Nick is on a Skype call. But bear with me, guys. They made contact in turn two, spun out the 13, and he almost flipped over. Yeah, it caused the right it, it caused the right rear tire down. And then what do you know? The caution is out on lap 14 of 25. Um, and the car was supposed to slow down. Yeah, and Ward was climbing out of the car. He shows displeasure. And then he walks, and he walks in the middle of the track, and continues to point. And Tony Stewart appears to run over him, and fans were watching it horrifying. And like a few minutes later, uh, they had to leave the track immediately. And Kevin Ward uh, was uh, laying down on the track because um, he was motionless, and and um, it really hurt. So this is really bad for. Uh, Kevin Hart, and also for Tony Kevin Stewart. Ford, 
Oh, man, I'm thinking of a comedian. No, I'm, uh, excuse me, Kevin Ward. Sorry. Yeah, this uh, this is truly the biggest headlines of all time in NASCAR, in my opinion. Nick, what... Yeah, in my opinion also, like, besides Dale Earnhardt and Dan Weldon, even though Dan Weldon is IndyCar. Yeah, uh, um, my reaction was when I first heard it, I was on Skype with a few other people. I was, like, I was, like, panicking and freaking out. I was scared, see, or, and to, I want to know what happened. Yeah, and um, I didn't know what a friend of mine from Skype, uh, JJ on NASCAR, was talking about at first. Um, I didn't mean to mention names, but I, I had friends on Skype last night. I didn't know what he was talking about at first. Then, like, a few minutes later, he kept talking about it, and I was, like, really shocked. I was like, what? No way. Are you serious? And I looked over the internet, Twitter. Uh, of course, there's nothing on YouTube, like, and last night until a few minutes ago last night, but... And then... Everyone kept saying that it was he was pronounced dead. We didn't we didn't completely know. Um, and then the next morning I woke up, he's dead. Yeah. So Nick, what is your opinion about last night's incident? And if and if you guys are are on a side with Tony Stewart or Kevin Ward, please comment below. See um, who who takes the blame. But I didn't mean it like that. But I think you guys know what I meant. Yeah, um, well, I guess that could be involved. You know I mean? like, don't put any harsh comments. If, if I see a comment that's, like, bad or something, like, if you guys see an argument, I'll, I'll finish it, like, I'll, I'll, I'll report the comments, so if I see an argument from, um, This video is, this video is, like, is not supposed to have any harsh comments, it's very serious. Bad at NASCAR driver. So yeah, Regan uh, it will be doing double duty, and so. So this will conclude uh, the breaking news, but the the headlines will still go on throughout the weekend and probably this week. So Nick, any more opinions before we sign off? No. Okay, so thanks for tuning in, Nick, and um. Subscribe to uh, my good friend Nick. Um, Nicholas Michelini. Yeah, and add him on Skype on Nicholas Michelini ninety nine, and follow Nick. Follow Nick on at Nicholas Michelini. Okay. And now uh, this is Ian Oscar for you signing off. Comment, like, and subscribe. Follow me on Twitter at Ian Oscar twenty four. Add me on Skype on Ian Oscar forty eight, and follow me on Vine on Ian Perez. And this has been the breaking news. With Tony Stewart and Kevin Ward, and Kevin Ward passed away. So sign off and yeah, uh, Kevin Ward died at age of twenty. So see you guys later. Goodbye. Bye, Nick.